Okay. I did to delete some memory on my off my camera here because it was getting full. So, anyways, um, this kit obviously includes the all the hoses, your stuff you need, and the wiring. Damn, it's always something. Okay. Radio and all this type of crap. Anyway, it comes with hoses and wiring, everything you need for it. And those tips and all sorts of stuff you need in here. It's really good. The detail in there. So, but yeah, it's all good reference for what uh, for what I'll be building. Look at these tires. I'm probably going to end up um, making some of these out of wood as well. And um, we have to make uh, wood rims too. But as you guys know, with the heavy duty trucks, I like to build all the time. Oh, an example. You guys know what kind of stuff I like to build here. An example in front of me right now. But. Something like these, something like, like these wheels here, you know, but uh, bigger scale, right? Of course, you guys know, in the, if you guys know stuff about the uh, model AA uh, trucks and B, the rims are, have like, a, there's a really big rim. I gotta figure that out. And also they have five and six hole. So you gotta make those. And I'll be making that detail in wood. I'll give myself wood lathe and cut out the wheels. But they're huge, 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 huge. So, yeah. It's almost bigger than the donut I had earlier. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously there's the front, there's the rear. So that probably would be, maybe, a truck tire might be taller than that, I would think. I have to do some research and do some measuring to figure that out. So. Big model, Big book. So, yep. Use a big one. Big frame. Look at the frame thing, eh? It's massive. Massive frame. Move some stuff out of the way. And that. So, big massive frame on here. And this frame I'm going to have to modify as well. And the engine, um, it's a flathead engine, I think. I think it's a flathead engine. This one, yeah, I think it is flathead. It's a flathead engine. But I want to build a. Uh, is it a flathead? I don't know if the flathead in this one or not. No, oh, this is. This is not the. F must have another parts and pieces here before a flathead, I think. Um, Yeah, there's, there's tons of parts and pieces here, so. But this looks like a Buick uh, or a Rosenbill head or something to be. But what I want to do is I want to take, uh, I want to mold a, a four-cylinder uh, engine that would have come in these trucks originally. The heavy-duty trucks mostly had uh, either flathead eight, but more more so the flathead fours. So I want to mold an engine like that for this application. And of course, I would build new rails, and all the rails would be all made out of metal, pressed metal. Of course, you guys will know once I get that done, I'll be doing that. Make my own frames because obviously, uh, a truck frame is different from a car because a car has the, the whoop in it like this, and the truck is are flat. So, good luck ever, ever finding a truck kit in one eight scale. Never. You'll never find one unless it's been custom made. So that's what I'm going to be getting into is custom making this stuff, which is kind of cool. But yeah, there's, uh, I mean, the what you can do with this, with these kits are endless. endless. Endless, endless. You research this stuff to death on YouTube and online, and there's guys that do tons of, tons of stuff with them. It's cool. Really, really cool. It also. Look, at Look at these front fenders. Wow. Of course, here again, 
I'm gonna have to cast these fenders um, at a later date, of course, and they have to be wider. Probably have to add probably half inch to these fenders to make them wider, because on the big trucks they're wider. So it's cool, 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 eh? Get first. So what else we got here? Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the flathead block. So that's cool, you got two blocks in here. So yeah, there's a flathead V8. I knew there was in there. And look at these rims. Wow, man, that'd give Sheldon Roth a boner. No, maybe, maybe, maybe had one many years ago. Uh, anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, look at this. I mean, these rims are high detail, eh? And this is a good, good source of information for me because uh, this is a 1 8 scale, and then when I build my truck truck rims, I think they were, uh, I'm not exactly sure, but they're probably 2 or 3 inches taller than the uh, 15, so they could have been uh, 16 or 18 or something like that. I have to do my research on that, but this is good, this is good reference for that. And obviously, building a, a 1 ton truck, uh, lighter duty. Uh, truck these would be great reference great great reference too so yeah so yeah it's cool here's the firewall very very interesting and cool I really like that oh, the, oh even here's the, the the back rooms are actually a lot taller than the front rooms that's pretty cool yeah. cool man very cool very very cool. Well, here's the here's the interior panel for the coupe here. Um, yeah, but this is this is a good reference point here too because when I build my sedan body, I get the model to show you guys. Oh man, that I wrote prepared here. Okay, here's the here's the kit in 120 125 scale. Okay, the sedan. I want to make this kit also. I want to build a sedan body too. I want to do it in the fenderless and fendered, but also I want to do it in the heavy duty as well. Um, if you guys know the Mini Craft kits, Mini Craft come with a panel wagon. I want to do the same thing and have no rear window. And have the doors in the back. I want to do the same thing in the 1 8 scale. I made mean, a heavy duty truck with dually rear end. So that's pretty cool. So this is good for pan for information. Okay. So comes the panels, everything in there, everything that it needs. Perfect. Now the good shit. Okay, comes with lots of chrome, lots of stuff to be chrome, of course. Who the hell looks chrome? I don't like chrome. But look, look at this axle. Your rear spring, the front axle. Of course, this is going to have to be all modified for my application, and I'll be making my own uh, straight axles too, out of metal. So, that's definitely pretty cool. Transmission, I have to cast that. All that good stuff, of course. Um, the ran has the quick change, something, I'm not sure who they make, some, some kind of fancy ran these things have here. Uh, I'm not really too familiar in that stuff. But, I'm going to have to make my own rent as well for this thing. I thought this one had, I thought this one here would have had the original rent. Um, but I'm gonna have to make my own and using um, making my own pumpkin of course for the rear ends. Here's in the 120 here's in the 125 scale. It's a pumpkin for the heavy duty trucks. So that's gonna have to be all made. Uh, probably made um uh, probably to scratch make something out of foam or I guess or something and then cast it. 
and I'll have my own pumpkins for doing my heavy duty trucks. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So, you know, it's, there's lots of possibilities. And, you know, the bumper and stuff, that's, I mean, I use some of that, of course. Let's see what else we got here. We got uh, carburetors and uh, headers. These are kind of cool. I really like these headers too. So, I think a I can, guy I can make those out of um, metal. Make some some of these tubes out of head some some headers out of metal. Give them a little more detail. And if you make them, make some tubes with the metal, and you color them, look like they're chrome, and they have the, all the blue and stuff to them. Or make some and brush them out. There's tons of parts. Yeah, yeah. And here are the exhaust manifolds for the uh, Oldsmobile Buick engine that's in here. So all the parts, headlights, headlight buckets, I might end up making some out of uh, metal or wood. We'll see. So that's kind of cool. It's a good stuff in there too. Yeah. There's just so many parts. So many, so many parts.